Good morning, my name is Chad Schmidt, Operations Section Chief for PNW Team 2. Uh, I'm going to provide you with today's operational briefing for the Double Creek Fire uh, on September 9th, uh, Friday, September 9th, 2022. I'm also here with Vince Stafford from Oregon State Fire Marshal's office, uh, and he's the Ops Chief with them. I want to start in Division Alpha and Zulu. Uh, on the Double Creek Fire, this remains in patrol status. We have resources in here continuing to mop up uh, hot spots that we find in there, but otherwise that line's pretty secure for us uh, over on the west side. As we go into our Division Quebec and Division Romeo on the south side of Double Creek, a, a lot of effort has gone in uh, to this area in the past 24 hours. We anticipate today a lot of activity of securing that fire's edge down on the Imnaha River. Uh, as we move into the south end towards Imnaha River Woods subdivision, uh, that's a big activity for us and Vince's group uh, to try to secure that as fire progresses to the south. Uh, as we loop around on the south end, we're looking for advantageous uh, areas, try to get that fire back up on top uh, off of the Imnaha River uh, where we can grab it up on top and try to push it back over to the Snake River and secure it over on that side. Uh, last night, uh, a lot of activity over uh, on the southeast corner of the Double Creek Fire. Fire made a, a good push out of, uh, out of the top and into more or less Pittsburgh Landing area uh, and towards that admin site. So uh, we were able to get some folks in there last night uh, and do some point protection in there. We've stood up a new river group. Uh, utilizing boats and uh, we, we're going to put some repellers and hot shots into this east side today. Uh, hot shots came in this morning. Uh, repellers are also going midday today. Try to do point protection on values at risk along the river as fire continues to pro, uh, progress off the top down into the bottom of the Snake River. Uh, that'll continue all the way over to the uh, northeast corner of the fire where we're looking for opportunities to try to secure this fire getting back up on top uh, over to Division Echo. Uh, and then Division Echo is going to continue to see some fire growth to the north. We have a north wind. We're still seeing fire uh, progress back into that wind a little bit when we have these wind conditions. So looking for opportunities to try to clean up some of those areas, button those up, keep fire off the Imnaha River. Uh, and then look for opportunities to try to connect all these lines and suppress this fire up in here. I'll hand it over to Vince. Good day, everybody. Uh, Vince Stafford again with the Oregon State Fire Marshal uh, the Structure Operations. A uh, quick overview of the Double Creek, of what we've got going on in there today and the progress we've made. So, again, as we talked about, this is all in patrol status. Our biggest concentration today will be down in that, the River Woods area community. We bolstered up today an extra task force. So we have four task forces in there working around there, securing those structures, prepping them, and just kind of helping uh, get that prepared if needed in there. So you're going to see a lot of activity in there today uh, with those four task forces. And then we're even going farther south. Uh, we'll send another task force down in there to uh, m look at over anything we need to do down in that area just in case. So you see a lot of activity down south. We are still patrolling all the way, all the fire line, all the way up uh, to the fire's edge at the top and it's pulling away from the road so you'll see us kind of all over in there but our concentration is down to south because the fire's impacting that community down there so that'll end our briefing for today on the double creek